All right, what's going on everyone? We are continuing to test Explore Anthology 3 cards and today we are testing Eidolon of Blossoms. Now, typically when you think of enchantment decks, they're fairly aggressive, but this is not an aggressive creature. It's a 4 mana 2-2, two, two, not great for an aggro deck, and then whenever it or another enchantment enters, we draw a card. So that feels more like it wants to be in a control deck and it pairs really well with things like Ossification, which I wanted to cut one of these. We'll do this right right now we'll do we'll do we'll do this great um because we don't have a ton of basics um but we have ossification which enters exile something we have seal away which enters exile something we have touch of the spirit realm which enters and exiles something and that works really well with this right because if we can have this in play and exile something draw where it's a spot removal spell it's a one for one spot removal spell that nets us a card same thing with this and this and we also have a um, mass removal like this. This is kind of sketchy because it will exile our own things here. Um, we also have Settle the Wreckage, which doesn't work with us at all. Then we also have Satessan Champion. This is a 3 mana 1 3. Whenever an enchantment enters, we put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it and draw. So we have 7 ways total to draw cards when we play enchantments. And then the way we win is with Calyx. This is also a new card. So we're kind of testing two cards. This is 3 mana 2 2. When it or another enchantment enters the battlefield, we put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on something. With this getting counters, this distributing counters, we can just make a big board. And then whenever it or an enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, we can create a token copy of a non-legendary enchantment we control. And our other way of winning is with things like Hallowed Haunting, a 4 mana enchantment. Whenever we play an enchantment, we make a spirit that has power and toughness equal to the number of spirits we control, and we have Sigil of the Empty Throne. Whenever we cast an enchantment, we make a 4-4 four, four angel. And that's the basic idea of the deck. We also have like Jukai Naturalist to reduce the cost of enchantments. This redraws basically. We have one Daxos to gain some life if necessary. We have a one course of Crufex, which lets us play lands off the top of our library. But our basic plan is to get stuff like Satestan Champion in play and Eidolon and then trade one for one with our opponent and outdraw them and then ultimately win with these enchantments. So it's a little bit different from your typical enchantment deck, but I wanted to build a deck around Eidolon instead of just throwing this into an aggro deck and having it be a bad addition to an aggro deck. Instead, I tried to make the deck feel like it's built around this. So we're going with a more control deck. I don't know if it's good or not, but you know, if we're going to build an enchantment deck that's focused around this sort of card, I think this is the best route. So let's just play this and see how it does. All right. This is the second game. First player that I got matched up against. Oh, my hand was so good. Uh, they just didn't play. All right, we'll uh, play this. Green. Sure, pay two life for this. Play the one copy of Daxos in the deck. Sure. Good to see Calyx, so that's cool. Nothing. Alright, we'll play this. Play Calyx. We'll get a counter here. And attack for three. Sure. Plays Boreal Outrider. Could be that snow deck that was popular. I think I'm just going to play this. I'm going to exile this. I'm going to put a counter here. Great. Well, <laughs> okay. We'll try this again. See if we go more than two turns. Um, seems fine. Going second, that kind of sucks. But what can you do? Elvish Mystic. All right, we'll play this. Probably looking for lands. That's fine. So, we have Jukai Naturalist. We have Satessan Champion. This has got lots of ramp. Looks like Simic Ramp. Um, I'll pay two life for this. And play this. So I could play Hollowed Haunting. Hallowed Haunting. Um, turn three here with the Jukai Naturalist. Which is pretty good. Hydroid Crisis. Interesting. This is like a Simic Ramp deck. From Standard. Um, yeah, I think I want to play this this turn. No attacks. And the next turn, we're going to play this. Can't play Ossification, don't have a basic. That's why I don't 100% love these. They're kind of awkward. Um, yeah, still no basics. That's unfortunate. So, we'll play this to draw, then play this. 
Get a creature. Get two draws. Looking for a basic land, mostly. Don't get it. No attacks. Now, these are so awkward. Maybe I should cut them entirely. Or just add more basics to the deck. Maybe Fabled Passage is what I need, actually. That's unfortunate. That's big. And I can exile the stuff if I find one basic. Draws. It's got trample, so no point blocking. Go to nine. That is not a basic. And it exiles all my stuff. Let's play this. Get a counter here. Draw. Not a basic. So... We'll play this. Get a counter. Draw. I mean, I can... Not use that, because this has Vigilance. Alright, we'll wait. No attacks in the turn. Now we have blockers, though. This also has Vigilance. That's just unfortunate. Their two best best creatures have Vigilance, so I can't can't exile them. Grow Spiral? Sure. Carnage Tyrant. Fine. It's a counter. We've can Druid, okay. They don't attack at all. I'll take it. That is perfect. What do we even use it on, though? Probably the one with Trample. Should I play this first to get an extra draw? Play this. Play this. Great. Do this one. Um, counter here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Alright, so we'll do this. Now I have flying. Uh, counter here. Uh, nope. Counter here. Uh, this here. Counter here. And now I think I can just attack all out, right? Because these have vigilance. So attack. Great. And they're dead. Nice. Well, we did it. That, that shows how explosive, you know, like, Hallowed Haunting is and all the card draw and stuff. Ooh, this is unplayable. Yeah, there's some stuff I'm not happy with. Temporary Lockdown, it does hit a lot of our own stuff. I think it would be better as just another set of the wreckage. It's just the mana curve is kind of clunky. All right, we're Mulligan. And this is fine. It's fine if the opponent's playing creatures. They have a Teferi avatar, so they might not be. Only need two lands. So maybe we can put one back. And, oh no, I want the basic. want the basic. Almost made a mistake there. I want the basic for this. We have a draw. We're going to just play control early. But it's playing black. No creature. So, interesting. Plan is just to control, control. Hope we draw lands. If not, we have a draw. Okay, so this is rogues. That's good because they have creatures. They did get my land on top, which is awkward. I wanted that. But it's okay. Thought sees. Take Staxos. So this mills whenever another rogue enters. So it's actually better to do this now. Plus they know about it, so it's not gonna be a surprise. Alright. I don't want them to mill. Because if they get me down to eight. Oh, that's well, we have ossification. So we will put this here. And take this. Alright. We need a land. Or we'll draw and try to find a land. We have two opportunities. That's not good. That's really bad for me. Alright, well, I don't want to draw now. This is the problem. I still need to draw for a land. Alright, do we get it? We don't. Settle's great, though. Yeah, I draw a lot of cards, so that's just not good. It's not good. I'll block. I will block. Want to see a land. That's good. That's good. So we play this. We pass. We settle to get the shielded away. Thieves, Guild Enforcer. Alright. 
And those two, two lands. That's unfortunate. Gains two. Well, they have their mana open, so they could have a counter spell. But we'll try. Try this. Yeah, counter spell for sure. This is a tier one deck. Oh, they don't have a counter spell. Well, they get two lands, so that's good for them. I wonder if they have another shielded. They don't do anything. That's great. So I can either play this and have this next turn. Or I can play this draw. Hmm, I don't trust that this lives, so I'll just, uh, I'll just, I gotta pay life? Okay, well, sure. I think this just could sit with a removal spell. Because I haven't, I haven't had creatures, right? So their hand's probably full of removal. Yeah, they're looking at it. Yep. Makes sense. I still get to draw. And I get a land. Perfect. Play this tapped. So depending on what the opponent does, they play a threat. I gotta develop my board. If they do nothing, I'll try to get this down. Brazen Borrower. Um, that's unfortunate. So take five. Okay. So in that case, well, I can... Mm, I'm going to play this. And then I'm going to play this. Target this. Does this get countered? Two cards. It does not. Alright, so I'll draw. That's pretty good. Another removal spell. Brazen Borrower down. So one, two, three, four, five. You can play this and play both of these. Yep. Another one. That's 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 very nice. All right. Get a counter draw. Very mastermind. That's pretty good. They get to draw a card. All right, so I think I'm just going to play this. Draw, exile this. Another one of those. Then we attack for four. And we'll play seal away on their turn. When they attack with the mastermind, which I assume they'll do. All right, down to 21. Okay, they bounce that. That's pretty good. I can't... I do have the seal away. So, we're going to take two. So, seal away. So, Calyx is what we want most now. Oh, if they have a counter, I lose. Yeah, alright, we lost. Dang. I mean, that was a... Uh, well, is it a tier one deck? It's pretty close, right? It's a competitive deck. And we were pretty close to turning the corner. I mean, we have so much gas. They just so happen to have bounce for my ossification, which is... Oh, uh, not good for me. All right, we'll try this again. Going first, not a great hand. An actively terrible hand. I'm going to mulligan. Um, this is fine. Probably cut one of these because I have two. I'll just play this because it doesn't matter. Black. We'll play this. Play this draw. Looking for four lands. It's not it. We have lots of removal, though. Knight of Ebon Legion. Sure. There's a land. So play this on green. I guess I can wait. See if they... If they attack, dump their mana into this. Then I can seal away. And that blanks their turn, basically. Alright, go to combat. No blocks. Great. Now, after they spent their mana, I do this. So that uh, wastes their turn. Because they spent all their mana now. So, because we're playing against a black deck, I'm going to prioritize this, because I think this just dies. I think I just play it, and it dies to a removal spell. So, we'll prioritize this. Next turn, we'll play this, I think. Uh, Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Sure. Is it a tribal vampire deck? Possibly. Um, I guess I can play this. I'm going to need five eventually. So, I'll play this. Make a token, draw. Nice. No attacks. So this is... When you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. This art's so weird. It's actually upside down. She's hanging from this upside down. Like, you see the candles back here? Right? They're upside down. Uh, this candle in the foreground. Strange art. Soren's Thirst. I mean... Eidolon seems like a pretty so-so card, but people really like to kill it, so... I guess it's... 
powerful because it draws, but it has low toughness, so it's easy to kill. That's probably uh, what's happening. So I think we can play this, get a token, then play this, auto pay, get a token, gain a life, get rid of this, and now attack like so. Great. Doom Whisperer is scary. That's a big thing. Well, we got lands. I regret playing these now, but what can you do? We'll uh, make creatures. And I guess I just pass. If they hit me for six, I swing back for way more, so it's kind of okay. Sure. Land. Another aerialist. Alright. The Testing Champion's cool. I do need a... Uh, need ways to draw. Gain a life. I need ways to draw. I need enchantments. So, no attacks. End the turn. I would say basically any enchantment is good now. Because it draws with this. They keep one card on top. Right, it's a veil too. So that's scary. There's something that they liked. Plays a land. Plays ill-gotten inheritance. Ill-gotten inheritance is interesting. So this is like a life gain deck. That is not what I wanted. I want to play. See, so we have one, two, three. Four, yeah, I need to play this. That way I can activate this land. And have seal the way up. So, no attacks. Alright. So this has to... I mean, I could just play this to draw, basically. Or down to 11. Puts both our cards in the graveyard. Pays 2 life, down to 9. To surveil again. Or are looking at my champion, so that probably means they found a removal spell. And they're debating keeping it. They did not surveil anything. That is very bad. Alright. Yeah, this aerial list is going to get huge. Hmm. Okay. Not the worst thing. I gain a life. Wish they would attack. They don't. Alright, we'll draw one more card before we commit to just playing this to draw. Let's see what we get. Alright, well... Let's hope we can start chaining enchantments now. I can definitely attack with these. So that's good. Draw. I need one more enchantment for... Settle the wreckage. Come on, man. I guess... Hang on, we have one, two, three, four, five. We had one more land. Uh, I think I just attack with all the six sixes. Like that. Great. I mean, they're at 12, so they have to block. Actually could have won if I attacked all out and played uh, one of these. But that's okay. Um, sure. I'll make a 1-1. One, one. Auto pay. And... Just attack. Alright. Whoa. It's working in casual at least. Don't think I'd want to play ranked with this. But in, in unranked it seems to be fine. Alright. So that's a quick look at this. Um, Eidolon of Blossoms build of enchantments. And it's definitely weaker than if you weren't trying to focus on this. Um, there's some stuff I don't like. Like ossification. It's kind of awkward with the number of basics we're playing. What, two forests, two planes? So it's not really reliable. Um, don't think I like temporary lockdown either. But, Calyx is amazing. Satessan Champion's really good. So, if, like, if I was going to build this for real, Eidolon would be out. And we'd be focusing more on, like, Satessan Champion and some cheaper stuff down here. But, um, overall, it's fun. It feels like every enchantment stack, which is, you know, if you can stick either one of these or one of these and live long enough, you just feel unbeatable. But getting there is the problem. And the spot removal wasn't as effective. Maybe I was just playing poorly. Maybe I should have been focusing more on... 
because I feel like I'm divided between do I like play this to develop my board, you know, get 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 our power stuff, or do we control? Maybe focusing less on developing your board with this sort of stuff, um, Satessin Champion and Calyx and stuff, and just focusing on control early and worrying about drawing and stuff later is the way to play this deck. I just built this really quick and ran it just now, but um, yeah, it's green white enchantments. It's very powerful, or it's very much not. It's a deck that needs to build up steam and get stuff on the board, and then it goes crazy. But if you can't get there, then it's like really hard to win at all. So yeah, there you go. Green, white enchantments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.